Hello there, welcome to Cards and Clarity Tarot and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a general weekly reading for anyone who might be connecting with a Sagittarius. So this could be a Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus Sign. You might even be a Sagittarius yourself. If you're familiar with Tarot and the way the energy works, I'm sure you understand that even if you are a Sagittarius who's not connecting with another Sagittarius, this reading can still resonate with you. So um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it and as I pull each card I'll talk about what it is representing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for your Sagittarius. The Hermit Virgo energy. Okay so their dominant outward trait this is going to be how others view this person. Uh, perfectionist. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Okay. Something others might not know about this individual. Okay. The Moon. You could be a Pisces. You don't have to be. You could be a Virgo as well. Got two Virgo cards showing up here. How they view love in a general sense. Six of Cups. Um, so that's uh, Scorpionic energy. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go over how they appear to be handling this connection versus how they're handling things internally. How does this Sagittarius appear to be handling this connection, please? The Fool. Aquarian energy. Okay. Uh, how are they handling this internally? The Hangman. What? <gasps> Alright. Um, so let's see here. What are their goals? You could be a Scorpio. You don't have to be. Death card. <clears throat> what are their intentions? Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Three Virgo cards. Jesus. What's at risk here for the Sagittarius? <clears throat> Four of Wands. Aries energy. Alright. Um, what obstacles are they seeing present? What obstacles are they seeing present? Two of Swords. Uh, Libra energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're going to see... What actions are going to take and how those are going to play out for them. <laughs> Jeez. Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming up as the actions they're going to take. And the Devil, Capricorn Energy showing up. Lots of major arcana here, okay? We've got Virgo, we've got uh, Pisces, we've got Scorpio, uh, Aquarius, more Pisces. Uh, Capricorn, Air, Jesus, there's like everything, okay? That's not even including the minor arcana, but anyways. We're going to go ahead and get into it, alright? So the Sagittarius you're connecting with. Seems like a very stubborn individual, okay? They really rely on their own guidance, is what I feel like saying here. They're very closed off um, to other people, all right, is what I feel like saying. Um, they're just a really reserved individual, kind of shy, okay? They are a perfectionist, I feel. This is coming up as, um, you know, how others might view them. They're, this is their dominant outward trait, so this is something others might notice about them, okay, is that they're kind of a perfectionist. It's not really that, they're, that they that uh, they want to be a perfectionist. They're just really skilled, okay? Honestly, is what I feel here. They're just a really skilled individual, okay? What others might not see about this Sagittarius is they actually have... See, in this too, this Knight of Pentacles too, to me is somebody who has it all together, okay? They have it all together. They're very um, cautious. They're very frugal. They're very, um, you know, just... <laughs> They're a really responsible individual, all right? They hold it all together, but I do feel like they have a lot of emotions. They have a lot of anxiety. This person could suffer from, um, you know, some kind of mental illness. Is what I feel like saying here, depression, anxiety, something of that nature. If they do, it's something they really keep to themselves, okay? But they are a very, very emotional individual, but I do feel like they kind of close that off. Uh, they kind of shut down from other people. Six of Cups is showing up as uh, how they view love in a general sense. So uh, I don't feel like they take love very seriously, okay? And I don't mean that in the sense that like they're not committal uh, or anything of that nature. I just feel like they like to have fun and love, all right? They're very, they have a very childlike energy when it comes to love, okay? That's what I feel like saying here. The Fool, yeah, Free Spirit, okay? Uh, is coming up as how they appear to be handling this connection. So they seem pretty aloof. They seem like, they might seem detached, like they don't care, but I do feel like they care, all right? I do feel like they care a lot, but they're just, it's just something they don't show because they're very emotionally closed off. The Sagittarius coming up. The death card, okay, is their intentions. So it's like they want some kind of new beginning here, okay? They want some kind of new beginning. Some kind of change is occurring within them. They, maybe they have to move in a situation because this is their intentions. You guys could live, um, this could be a long distance relationship, something of that nature, but something big, there has to be a big change for them, all right, in order for them to have some kind of commitment with you, in order for them to build with you, all right? They could already be in a commitment with you, but some kind of big change has to happen here. And they're, they are focused on that. They are putting their focus on that, okay? Um, but it's like they're not, they're, they're still not moving on it, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. It's like, 
they just they just want to have fun in the connection but they also know that uh, if this is something they want to hold on to then a change needs to be made a big change they want to build with you okay this is their goal the ten of pentacles they think very highly of you they really value this connection this commitment they want to put in the work here you know these are generations here in this card look at this old man these you know this couple right here dancing the child below them right it's generations they do want to build with you they want to settle down with you i feel they do they do but they're stuck for whatever reason. They could fear commitment with the moon coming up here and the four of wands. Uh, they are stuck. How they're handling this internally is they don't know what to do. Okay? They don't know what to do. They know what to do, but they don't want to do it, basically. All right? So... You can take that how it resonates because I feel like it's different for all of you. But I do feel like for a large portion of you, they are fearing commitment, okay? Four of Wands is showing up as, um, you know, what's at risk here. So it's like taking on, it's like biting off more than you can chew. This is one of the only cards with the Wands that are, um, you know, they're bigger than these. They're this much bigger than these figures back here. Sometimes it's like um, taking on something that's a huge risk, okay? That could... Um, so this could be marriage for some of you. Uh, it could be a pregnancy. It's something of that nature, okay? They have to learn something new here. Okay, it's a card of like learning, learning some kind of dance. Okay, uh, not necessarily a dance, but it could be like, you know, it's just something new that they have to learn. All right, two of swords is showing up as, um, you know, the obstacle here. So this is moon and Libra. So it's like their emotions, they, they have to actually tap into these emotions that they hide from everyone in order to pick a lane, in order to figure out which path to go, they have to actually feel things out, okay, in order to make a decision, because twos are decisions. I feel like they're holding back, okay? I feel like they're holding back. I feel like they're being quiet, okay? I feel like they're being silent. Um, is what I feel like is happening here. They're avoiding something, all right? They're avoiding something, and it's breeding toxicity, okay? It's breeding toxicity. They're very in their head about whatever this is, okay? Um, I do feel like they have a, a an attachment to you, but it's something that they really, um, keep to themselves, all right, because they try to keep love very lighthearted, very fun, um, but it is something they're going back and forth about, okay, it is something they're going back and forth about, it's a really indecisive individual if you can't tell, um, <laughs> so good luck with that, um, if this didn't resonate, you could always try back next week, if it did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, tap the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications for when I upload new content, thanks so much for watching, have a great week.